Hi everyone, Carlos here. Today's topic is super important for anyone who manage a Microsoft 365 environment. Have you ever worried about getting locked out your admin account? It can happen for a number of reasons. For example, if the account gets compromised, or one that is getting very popular lately, when you lose your phone and you are not able to approve the two-step verification of your account. Trust me, it is not a fun experience. You don't want to be in a situation when your entire organization has an issue in Microsoft 365 and you can access the admin center. Imagine this, you come into the office one morning and realize you can't access your main admin account for Microsoft 365. Think about all the resources that depend or work on Microsoft 365. The entire Teams email service, all the files in SharePoint and OneDrive, the communication on Microsoft Teams, and other important services. This can be a major productivity killer and a big headache to resolve. Having a backup admin users acts as a safety net in these situations. It ensures that someone always has access to manage users' accounts, reset passwords, and keep your Microsoft 365 environment safe and running smoothly. That's why creating a backup admin user is absolutely crucial. This way, even if your primary account gets locked, you will have another one to access Microsoft 365 and regain control. You, as the admin, can create another admin account with no additional cost to access your Microsoft 365 Admin Center. In case you are wondering how to create a backup admin account, continue watching since I will show you how to do it now. The steps are super easy. Within our Microsoft account with the admin role, we need to click on Admin to access the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Here we need to click on Users, Active Users, and then Add a User. Then we need to enter basic information about the admin account. We can enter, for example, Backup and Admin. And then we enter the username that we wish. For example, Backup Admin. It is going to be under our main domain name, which in this case is itb.cloud. Then below, we can select if we want Microsoft to create a password automatically. If we want to create our own password, we just unselect here and we enter the password that we want. Remember, create a unique and a strong password. Then below, we can select if we require to change the password at the first login. Since this is a account that I will use, I don't want to be asked to enter a new password. So I unselect this option. If you want to make sure that you won't forget the password, you can click here to send the password in an email and I can send it to myself. Then I click on next. I will select my location. Below, I need to select if this user or this admin user is going to have any license. Since this is a backup account, I will not assign any license. Then I will select this option, create a user without a product license. Then I click on next. Then here is the important part. I need to click on roles, then click on admin center access, and I will select what kind of admin access this user will have. I want to create a global administrator. This is the highest admin role that we can assign to a user. Then we click on next. Here I can review all the information that I entered, and now I'm ready to click on finish adding. My backup admin user has been created and it is ready to access the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Then I just click on Close and the backup admin user will be listed here. Remember, after creating the backup admin user, log into the account and configure the multi-factor authentication. If the security defaults are enabled, on your Microsoft 365 subscription, you will be automatically prompted to configure the Authenticator app the first time that you log into this account. Now that you have created a backup admin user, security is paramount. Remember, this account holds a lot of power. Here are two crucial steps. First, make sure you create a strong and unique password for the backup account. Don't reuse the password from your primary admin account. Second, Make sure you configure multi-factor authentication for the backup user. 
Multi-factor authentication adds an extra layer of security by requiring a second verification code when you log in. By the way, using a second phone number is a good idea. Don't use the backup admin user for your daily tasks. This helps maintain a clear separation of duties and reduce the risk of accidental changes. Keep the password for the backup account secure and separate from your primary admin account. Consider using a password manager to help you manage a strong and unique password for all your accounts. So there you have it. By creating a backup admin user and following these best practices, you will ensure that your Microsoft 365 environment is always accessible and secure. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips. I am Carlos and I hope to see you next time. Stay secure, stay tech savvy.